This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a 2D animation attack you. Sorry, I have a hair like hanging onto my face. I recently did um, a little TikTok with Jason Derulo where this box filter attacks him. I thought it was really fun and creative because it's like an actual, it's actually like a TikTok filter. And so I'll just show you how I did it. Super easy, fast tutorial. Just a 2D animation attacking you, simple. All right, so I have my footage here in Adobe Premiere, and you can see Jason acts like he gets hit by something, which I told him to do because there was gonna be a box attacking him. So I'll just cut that up in Premiere, so I'll slice off the left part, and I'll slice off the right part. Beautiful. Right click this select and hit replace with After Effects composition. So the first thing I did was actually open up Adobe Illustrator and I made this grid box myself. You know, my professional animating skills, uh, I basically just, you know, made a bunch of lines. You can see I'm dissecting it right now. So you throw a bunch of lines together in Adobe Illustrator and you have your animation. Okay, so now here we are in After Effects. Well, let me actually, you know what? I remember this is 60 frames a second. I'm gonna change it down to 23 so we don't have to deal with that extra nonsense. All right, so if I drop in this filter box, you can see we have this bad boy right here. Easy to follow, right? Well, the first thing I did to give this box just a little bit of like character life, if I drop down P, so just position, and I alt click on that stopwatch and type in wiggle, 10 comma 10, Let's see what happens. Look at that, I'll solo it. it. It wiggles, so now it has a little bit of organic life to it. It's an alive creature. And from there, you can actually just add normal position keyframes. So it looks like it hits Jason right here. So to create this position, keyframe, you know what, I'll actually start it off frame and then come here after it hits him. Let's see, bam. You know, I just gotta line it up. So what does that look like? Looks pretty good. Can go faster. Oh, beautiful. Oh. So the box just, you know, flies by his face. But I feel like we can amp it up a little bit, give it a little more pizzazz. So if I right click on these keyframes and I easy ease it, I can maybe have it slowly come in, just slowly a little. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. Ooh, great, we love that. And then with these position keyframes, to make it stand out even more like it's realistically moving. In the layers panel here, you can check these three circles, which creates realistic motion blur. So now, so now it's flying by with this beautiful motion blur. This is with it, this is without it. This is with it, this is without it. So you're getting that nice realistic motion blur. And then I also had it, if you create a new position keyframe, you can have it come in just a little bit. And when it does that, after that last position keyframe, if you hit R for rotation, create a keyframe, just drag it backwards so you have that first rotation locked in place. And then when it comes in, rotate it down a little bit like it's like it's tucking its head to attack. You just have to think of some like real things a, a creature would do, like make its head go down or like shake. Look at that, looks great. It looks like he, he flies in and then gets his head down ready to attack. And then if I create a position keyframe here and I have it fly across the screen, but re remember it reared its head, so if you you know, create this keyframe to lock it into place until maybe here, when it flies across, you can rotate it kind of up so it kind of looked down and then headbutted you. Just some creative character animation. So you can see how this this process kind of works. You just kind of have to give life to a 2D animation, you know? It's all about the actor too. Jason sells it really well because he reacts really big. And then you can make the actual 2D animation kind of have its own personality just by animating it to like look down. You know, easy as the keyframes like a, any animal would start slow and get faster. So just lots of easy ease keyframes, motion blur, and you can turn a 2D graphic into a, a little demon that attacks Jason Derulo. All right, that's it. That is my super simple, silly tutorial for the day. And now it's time to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer, that's incredible, perfect. You should sign up for Squarespace because they have award-winning designer templates and portfolios and galleries, which means you can uh, display your photography and work to the world in a professional and sleek manner. Putting your work in Squarespace just makes your work look cooler. And then let's not uh, forget about their analytics. If you're that photographer who wants people to come to your page, you'll have the best time learning when, how, 
where all these people are coming from. Squarespace has the best and most detailed analytics. So if you really wanna scale your business or focus on the number side of thing, use Squarespace because it's got the best analytics. And lastly, if you're that photographer and you want the whole world to find your Instagram through your website, well, Squarespace lets you stay connected because you can put in all your social medias. Like, let's say you're a SoundCloud rapper, you can embed your SoundCloud. You're the Instagram photographer, embed your Instagram so people can come to your website and you can cross promote over to your Instagram. So check out Squarespace. They got all the features for you to be an independent business person. And I got you hooked up with a discount. If you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And I hope everyone enjoyed this silly tutorial. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.